friends welcome to chicken run creations my name is dawn and uh, today we are going to make a little christmas mouse see that um so i'm going to take you through making this little guy and um i hope that you'll join me and make one too um i would love to have you uh, join me over on facebook with chicken run creations i have both the classroom page and a, a product page so if you would um find the links down below in the description you can come over and join us and uh, share with me uh your little creation so uh thanks for watching let's get going and see what we're going to need to make this okay let's get started with our little christmas mouse let me show you what you are going to need uh, to make this little guy um, first you're going to need, um, I like to work with some core wool. Um, so this is just some core that I got from a Lion Gate Farms. Um, you can use any core. Um, I, I prefer to use a sliver, but this is what I happen to have and we're going to give it a try. Um, it does have a bit of um, vegetative matter in it, but we're going to cover it up so that's not a big deal. Um, and then you're going to need um, whatever mouse color you want to go with. I'm not sure yet which one I want to do. If I want to go with, um, this is uh, the color mouse from Cupid Falls Farms. And I think this is pumpkin pie from Felted Sky, I believe. I will double check on the color and um, pop it up on the video but i'm torn as to which one of these i want to use so uh we'll see um and then a little bit of red for the hat a little bit of pink for the nose and the ears and the hands and then uh, some white um, for the belly um although i might do an off-white for the belly and just use this for the hat so we'll see how that goes um you're gonna want some eyes uh, these are five millimeter uh, glass plastic eyes um, just I got them from Amazon I got an assortment of them um, we might go a little bigger we'll see once we actually start making him what size we want to use but you could also use uh, felted eyes you could just make eyes with felt as well and then let me see here you're gonna need your needles um, my favorite needles to use are a um, 36 triangle, a 38 triangle, and a 40 spiral. Um, use whatever you prefer to use with your felting. Um, a pair of scissors come in handy and all uh, for um, doing the eyes. I like to use these uh, clover pen tools. Um, one of them has um, 38 triangles and the other one has 240 spiral triang for 240 spirals in them. Uh, these just kind of help it go a little bit faster. They're not necessary to um, create. You can use single needles as well. I also like to use a um, brush. Oh, I got a needle stuck in there. A uh, brush mat for doing the ears. Again, totally not necessary. This will come in handy also with the hat, but you don't have to have it. You can do it right on your mat. And speaking of mats, you'll also need a mat. I like a wool mat. That I made and I just cover it with a piece of uh, felt because you can see it starts to accumulate stuff here. I um, actually have a new one started but I haven't finished it yet so um, so once it starts to get kind of um, dirty I just throw on a new uh, mat or a new uh, piece of felt to kind of cover that. Um, finger guards might come in handy. A pen. I have this uh, disappearing ink pen. Um, all this stuff you can find down below in the, um, in the description. Um, also I like to use this multi clover tool that has five needles in it for doing, um, flat things like the hat and the ears and stuff, but totally not necessary. So I think we are ready to get started here. Um, Okay, we are going to uh, start our little mouse with some core wool. 
and I'm just going to take a little bit off here. Uh, this is like four inches by not quite two inches. And what I want to do is I want to make a pointed, and I want it to kind of go back like this, right, for his head shape. So I'm going to kind of fold it into a triangle here to start. And then I'm going to fold it over again. I just want to see if this is going to be pretty good. And we're going to take this extra wool here and kind of tuck it in. So I'm going to start with my um, 36 needle. Well, let's try the 38 instead. Yeah, the 38 works a little bit better. Sometimes you just have, kind of have to try the needles and see which one uh, you like better. So I'm going to start in the front here and I want to keep it like a cone shape. That's what we're kind of looking for is a cone shape. So this will be his nose here. And I might not need all this in the back. I might pull some of it off. So we'll see how we go as we work our way back. I'm going to switch to my 40 spiral. And I don't want this to get too big because I want them to be small. I'm just comparing it to my picture I have over here. So I'm going to pull a little bit of this off because I don't want it to get too long. And I'm going to just tuck this in the back here. So we have a little ice cream cone here. It's a little thin down here, so we're going to add a little bit more down on his nose area. So see that? Let's get a little bit. I don't want to go too much. So I'm just going to wrap just um, that's a little more than once around here. I want to keep this here at the end, a nice point for his nose.
now. I think that'll work. It's gonna, it's, we're gonna add some more, kind of build his face up a little bit here. Um, back of his head could probably be maybe a little smaller, but you can kind of manipulate it with your hands a little bit. Okay. All right, next we're going to just build up his cheek area here um, and his nose area just a little bit. We'll do more of it with the color. I just want to um, figure out where the top of my head is going to be. So I think, I think right here is where we're going to put the eyes, but I want to build it up a little bit more. So I'm just going to take some wool, let's just make a little pillow here, and we're going to go up one side of his face. Try not to put too much on the nose area because you don't want that tip to get too big. And let's get... More here that's gonna be too much or not enough again just kind of rolling it up to a little pillow put that on the other side I need a little bit more over here. Let's get some of this over here. must apologize for having neglected my YouTube channel for a few months. Um, I actually find doing lives over on Facebook is a lot easier because I don't have to edit. It's a one and done thing. So you are welcome to pop on over and join me on Facebook at uh, Chicken Run Creations uh, Needle Felting Classroom. Um, there will be a link down in the description below if you want to join us over there. I do lives uh, once a week. All right. So now let's go up across the top of his head. It's doing the same thing. It's making a little pillow. Just keeping it really small right now, we can add to it. Better to go in small increments and have to add more than too much to and take it away. I think I got it over a little too far here. Okay. I'm not going to worry too much about the bottom yet because we'll add a little chin in there. Okay, so his eyes are going to go, I think, right about there. Just going to kind of mark them a little bit with my needle. See, yep, that's good. I'm trying to think if I want to, uh, 
maybe I want to bring it out a little bit more. So I think maybe I want to bring his eyes a little further apart. So I think I want to bring, bring out the sides just a little bit more. Again, just work with small amounts. I have a tendency to go big. I'll start out small and then it will end up being too big. I'm just kind of pulling it apart a little bit here before I lay it down. And I'm bringing this right back into the back of his head. his eyes down a little bit more. All right, let's try this and see. Go one eye here. And then one eye here. I'm kind of you can see the angle that I'm putting my all in. So I'm going straight in, I'm kind of going back a little bit. I think I might have to do the other one. Let me just take it back a little bit this way. So they're kind of looking forward. Sometimes you gotta move that all around a little bit. Get your eyes in. Now normally, I believe a mouse's eyes would be more on the side of his head, but we're not going for realistic. We're going for cute. So I think I like that. Just kind of like to manipulate it a little bit, see if I like the distance. Uh, before I glue it in, I kind of want to add to it just a little bit. So I'm going to, because I have this ridge right here, um, it's going to get covered with your top coat, but I just want to lay some of more of this core wool over that first to give me an idea of how it's going to look. Could almost be a mouse by himself here with just this is the whole body. It's looking that way. All right, so I'm, I will definitely build up his cheeks a little bit more. I just want to make sure that his eyes are about the same here. I think they are. 
So I think we're going to glue in his eyes. So I'm just going to grab, um, I just have a tacky glue here. I'm just going to take my um, eye, hopefully not lose the hole. And just put a little bit of glue on the post. And then attempt to stick it back in the hole. It doesn't always work out <laughs> the way I want it to. Let's see, there we go. Alright, one eye in. That one went in a lot easier. And the other one. Okay. So I think that's good. I can, like, maybe squish his nose down just a little bit. And that will, that will dry. And we can, uh, can start his uh, top coat. I'm just defining his nose area here a little bit. So it's going to come down here to a point and then we'll stick the pink on. And then we're going to build up his cheek area a little bit more. So all right, let's figure out what color we're going to use here. Still undecided. Oh, maybe the mouse color will work. Let's go with that. All right. So I feel like I need to uh, build up his cheeks here a little bit more. So before we cover, let's just add a little more onto his cheeks here. Do the pillow again. I'm trying to keep it not so much down in the nose area. That's better. Just got a string here. little bit more over here. Got too much of a gap here. Still don't know if you can see it, but here it's more rounded. Here it kind of goes in a little bit more. So I'm just going to add a little bit more right in here. It's when my perfectionism comes out. <laughs> Just gonna wrap a little bit around there. I'm 
Okay. Just want to kind of point his nose here a little bit. All right. Let's start to cover. So I'm going to just do the top part of his head because down here we're going to do white. So I'm not too concerned about his nose because we can put the pink over the brown. And I'm kind of letting the wool fall over the eye a little bit. We can, I'm going to like put wool right over the eye and then tuck it in around it. I'm going to switch to my spiral. And I'm not too concerned at this stage to get it nice and smooth. So here I'm going to go right over the eye. Now be careful as you're coming up around the eye. Just kind of go around it. I'm using little bits here because I don't want it to bulk up too much more. Okay, so now where the eye is, I'm just going to gently coax the wool away from the eye and just start to tack it in around it. Now I'm not doing eyelids on this guy. You totally could if you wanted to. It might take a couple layers. I'm just going to go right around the eye. And I want to give it just like a little, I don't know what you would call it, kind of just a little triangle here at the corner. And just work this a little bit. Okay, now do the other side. Again, just thin bits right on over. Again, careful around the eye, kind of go around it. just very carefully I'm just kind of going like down along the side of the eye just following the eye with my needle don't stab into the eye because you'll break your needle I'm just working the wool back away from it now if you wanted his eyes to be more like human shape you can put the eyelids on, make them less round, but we're going to go with nice round eyes. Now, once you get the eyes cleared, go ahead and start firming the rest of the wool in. Make it nice and smooth. Now 
if you have um, areas that you're lacking wool, just kind of pull little bits out and fill that in. Don't worry about the tip of the nose because we'll get that with the pink. Do a little bit more on his nose here because the pink isn't gonna quite get all that. Not too worried about underneath because we're gonna put white down there. Got a little bald spot right there in the his nose. My dog is having a nightmare or something because she's making weird noises. I'm going to try my 42 triangle. Let's see if it gives me Usually the 42 spiral does a pretty good job. The 40 spiral does a pretty good job at smoothing it out, but um, it could be the core wool that I'm using. It's not giving me as smooth of a finish as I usually like, so. And I'm gonna get that little triangle here so if your if your eyes aren't um, hidden I don't know indented enough you could do another layer over them but I think these will be okay Kind of pinch out his nose here a little bit. I think I want to kind of want to define this area here going down to his nose. So I'm just kind of making a line here from his eye to his nose. long string here that's bugging me so you can take your scissors and kind of trim any long pieces just kind of emphasize that a little bit more my fingernails all right let's get a nose on here so we're going to take a little bit of pink And 
just gonna kind of Kind of hard to see in my picture, but it's just pretty much like a little ball on the end of his nose. You could make a more realistic nose if you wanted to. I'm going to add a little bit more because I really want it to kind of stick out here. I don't want to go bigger. I just want it to stick out a little bit more. Okay, let me see that. I'm just kind of defining this nose area a little bit so then it pops into his cheeks. So I'm using a bit of force here to kind of make this section right here a little bit narrower. All right, now let me get, oh, let's see here. I think I'm gonna use, I don't wanna use a bright white just looking to see, do I have any on my desk here? Um, so this is a different core wool. And it's a little bit finer than the stuff that I used. So I think I'm going to use this for underneath his mouth. And I'm going to start with just a little bit here to kind of define how I want it to go here. So I'm just going to run the white along the bottom jaw. But I want to bring it right up here to his nose. down. Let's see how it looks. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Let me try the other side now. Okay, 
I'm going to look at it here so that I don't come up too far. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see if you got them both the same. fill it in a little bit more here. I'm going to bring this right underneath his nose. We got it about the same. So I'm kind of making a little mouth here by stabbing in right along the line. I'm not really giving him a mouth per se. I'm not too concerned about this back here because it's going to connect to his body, so you won't be able to see that. I need just a little bit more white right up here. Okay. See that? I think that's pretty good. Okay. So next, I'm not going to do his ears because I like to do the ears last and I'm actually going to do the ears after I make the hat. And I actually think I want to build out like right in this area here just a little bit. So I'm just gonna kind of make a little pillow with my brown and I want it to be like just behind his or like halfway around his eyes there but I don't want to go over the white so I'm being real careful here. I want to kind of give his face a little more of a diamond shape. And I'm not going to felt it totally down yet because I want to do both sides at the same time. So I'm going to do this side over here. this way. So about halfway 
under his eye. And I'm kind of bringing it up a little bit. Didn't get quite so much on this side. And then we'll cover this with just a thin layer to get rid of that, the line. I like that better. I think I want to build it up just a little bit more though. I'm just going to pull out a couple pieces here. Might be too much. Just behind his eye. Then I'm going to kind of build up the top of his head here a little bit more. A lot of this is just going to get covered. I don't want to bring, I don't want to bring any more down um, at the base, down by his nose. I'm going to just try and make like a triangle shape here. And just start it around the eye area. It looks like he's, um, yeah, that having a bad hair day here. <laughs> I won't say who he looks like. <laughs> Can you use your imagination what I'm thinking? So he has um, a pretty defined... Taking from his nose area, straight back along the eye. See if I can kind of 
define that a little bit. I like that. All right, I'm going to take my uh, 42 and just smooth it down a little bit. Then I'm going to take a piece of wool and just kind of go over this whole thing here to get rid of any obvious lines and stuff. All right, so let me just take a thin piece here. And I'm just going to kind of go over this whole area here and try not to get it into my white. And that'll just hide the lines. I'll go back over this with the um, 42 triangle here. Let me do the other side. A lot of this up here will be covered by the hat. 